Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you my exact workflow for exporting audio only from ScreenFlow, bringing it into Adobe Audition, raising the levels using Matt's loudness panel, then bringing it back into ScreenFlow 10. I have finished editing my video in ScreenFlow 10. And now I wanna export the audio only and bring it into Adobe Audition where I can use the Matt's loudness panel to make sure that my audio is at a proper level. So first, in ScreenFlow, I'm gonna export the audio only by going to File, Export. For type, I'm gonna click on Manual. In the preset dropdown, I'm gonna select Lossless Audio Only. I'll click on Export, and now the audio only is exporting onto the desktop. Next, I'll open up Adobe Auditions. I'll navigate to the audio only file that I just exported from ScreenFlow 10, and I'm just gonna drag it right onto the waveform editor to open it up in Adobe Audition. In Audition, you can add any effects that you want on the effects rack, but I'm just gonna to go to the Match Loudness panel. If you don't see the Match Loudness panel, you can access it by going to Window, Match Loudness. I'm just gonna select the file in the Files bin and drag it right onto the Match Loudness panel. If you don't see the settings for Match Loudness, you can just click this button right here, Match Loudness Settings, that'll slide open the drawer. There's also a little arrow on the far right, or you can simply just pull up this little handle. For Match 2, select the first option, ITU slash R, and Target Loudness. This is the whole reason that I went into Adobe Audition. Since this is a stereo file, I'm going to set it to minus 16 LUFs. If this was a mono file, I would change it to minus 19 LUFs. For tolerance, I'll keep it at 0.5. Max to peak level, minus 1.5 is great. Look ahead time, 12 milliseconds, and release time, 200 milliseconds, great. Now all you have to do is just click Run. So notice the levels now, and when you click Run, Audition's gonna analyze it, and then you can see the levels are raised. And now that I know that this audio file is at the broadcast level standards of minus 16 LUFs, so it's going to be at a good level for YouTube, it's now time to export from Audition. To export, go to File, Export, File. For the file name, I'm gonna add 16 LUFs at the end, just to remind me that this file has already been processed in Audition. For location, I'd recommend choosing your ScreenFlow project. For format, you wanna select AIFF, this is the lossless format that you use when exporting from ScreenFlow. I'll keep all of this the same, then click OK. Then I'll go back into my project in ScreenFlow 10, locate the audio file that I just exported from Audition, and I can just drag it right onto the timeline. I'll drag the new audio file to the very beginning of my timeline to make sure it lines up perfectly with my video, and now I need to mute the original audio, so both audio tracks are not playing. So I can just drag a selection over this entire audio layer, or I can use the Track Selection tool. The Track Selection tool, keyboard shortcut N. When you tap N, you'll see your cursor turns into that arrow. Just click on the first clip that will select everything to the right of it. With all of the original audio selected, go up to the Inspector panel, to the Audio tab, then just check Mute audio. Now I am ready to export my ScreenFlow project. That is my audio workflow from ScreenFlow 10 to Adobe Audition back to ScreenFlow. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.